you got the lock. Fire. Yep, rifle one. And come on. Rifle two. Epic. Epic, they're toast. Oh, he's close. Oh, he's very close. Box two in the booty just for you. Hey, make 21, don't come at me, cause you're gonna learn how we do it dirty in the big, big gee. Dorito, do it in the biggie. Hit your. Oh! Back with the side winning. I ran out of fuel. I burned so much chasing the, the other. Look, I'm 21 miles from the airstrip. At 8,000 feet, no fuel. I do. I regret doing the the Viggy on the Miggy. Man, hell no. Nah. I feel so cool right now. <laughs> All right, we are just loading up right now. The airfield is, or was, just under attack, but we quickly regained it. We're in the AGS Vigan, and we're uh, loading ourselves with Mavericks on each wing. And there are people actively taking off right beside us over there. And the Sams were just firing. It was pretty intense. I barely got my recorder on. I just joined the server. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, the Vigan, it is a Swedish ground strike aircraft if you don't know what this one is very very cool aircraft um, it's a delta wing it's extremely fast flying uh, the strategy we're gonna be doing today is flying low and fast over mountains to do some quick strikes on ground targets that have been reconned this is Enigma's Cold War server and it's like a 24 7 football match between red and blue uh, the server rounds can last weeks at a time and uh, yeah you can jump on it any time of day and have some fun and actually do your part in the war pretty fun Loaded all my weapons on board. Mavericks take a few minutes to really warm up, I think, so they don't, or at least the image doesn't turn on immediately. Hey, this guy's also running the same loadout. He's got the uh, silver camo, though. The silver paint job, which is also a very pretty look. I mean, look at that plane. That's what we're flying right now. Very, very pretty. Why is he getting off to the right? Does he want me to pass him? Or is he, oh, he just wasn't paying attention. That's why. <laughs> That's what it was. He was uh, he was down on his knee board for a second. Look at all the planes taking off. There's another Vigan taking off. See, that's the camo we've got. That woodland camo. Because we're going to be down in the weeds, so I want to make sure we're pretty stealthy. Howdy, buddy. Looks like he's doing a rolling start. Yeah, he's doing a rolling. All right. I'm going to follow his lead. But we're going to go up north into the mountains and uh, strike some, I think it's like BMPs and uh, some tanks that are up in the mountains right now. Maybe some artillery pieces that snuck up the hills. And uh, the Vigan really likes to take off fast. And a good way to gain altitude in this is to fly straight, like this guy is actually doing. You fly pretty straight until you hit about Mach... 0.5 or 0.6, so about half the speed of sound, and then you climb. So this guy's, yeah, that guy is doing exactly what I just described. So I'm going to climb now, and we're going to turn around, because what we've got to strike is in the mountains to our northeast. And because I'm an impatient gamer, I have not actually set waypoints in my Vigan like I should, like a good Vigan pilot. So we're going to be manually eyeing these, uh, these targets out in the mountains, but... I'm familiar with the mountains, so I think we'll be able to do it. And we do have enemy bandits pretty close. They're all to our south, uh, rear right right now, so we're going north. Um, so there's like a bandit at 151 for 20 kilometers. That's like about maybe two minute flight out. 
So there are bandits really close, but luckily we've got a lot of friendlies here taking off of Sochi. So we should have decent coverage at least while we go in for these runs. Yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of... Oh, our Mavericks are online. Cool. Looks like there's a lot of AAA threat off to our right. I'm going to have to go beneath the clouds, I think, to strike these because the clouds are right up on top of that mountain. And I think we're going to have to hit them from below. Yeah, that's going to be hard to find. Unless they're on the tippy top of that mountain. Looks like they might be, which might poke out of the clouds. I think I see them. They're little tiny black objects right on the top of that hill. I'm going to turn in. See if we can spot them here. Safety is off. Ooh, Vigan does not like that much of a turn at the slow speed. Alright, Vigan. Alright, Maverick. What can you spot, buddy? Yep, right there. Right. Oh. Whoa, it's a little... There we go. Rifle times one. Yeah, they're little tiny objects, but they are there. Rifle times two. Nope, that's a, that's the same target as before. Can I break that lock? Oh, I don't know how to break locks. Oh, that's how I break locks. Okay. Oh, go back down. Go back down. Okay, that's a different one. Rifle times three. Rifle times four. Those should all be good. I don't see any intercept guns going up. I think those should all be good. I just want to get a view of at least one of the shacks. Oh, I couldn't see any of them. <laughs> I'll have to get the spectator camera out for that one, I guess. I do want to get a view of what I did, though. Look, we got enough fuel. We'll go back and just get a get a good little good little damage report going on. Overlord, stinky one one, bogey dope. Stinky one one, Overlord, bra, two three two, eighteen, two thousand six hundred, hot, fast, fish van. I think that radar that's hitting us is that fish bed. Looks like our strike was good. I see four smoke plumes there, so that was good. The problem is, is that that fish bed is right where we are going. And let me make sure, yeah, it's still friendly territory. That fish bed is in the friendly territory, though. What I'm going to try to do is avoid him by going super fast through these mountains and just trying to stay stealthy. Yep, he is definitely coming our way. Looks like a fish bed and a frog foot. I'm going to arm the... Sidewinders here and uncage them. Uncaging the sidewinder basically means that the seeker can look around a little bit. Merged 190. Okay, so they're to my south. He's up high. Actually, no, he's same altitude I am. I'm gonna dive down low. 190. Yeah, so he's off to my left somewhere. Oh, yeah, I see him. That's the fish bed right there. He's looking for me. He's got a delayed call. We also have a mirage on our butt, too. I'm going to head back to friendly territory, though. We're going Mach 1 right now, just above the speed of sound. <laughs> this thing is so fast, they will not be able to catch us. Luckily, we've got still 70% of fuel left. There's no way they could catch us. I'm not even running full afterburner right now either. I was running it a second ago, but not anymore. We're already going so fast. If I go any faster, the airframe will tear itself apart. Which is an actual script in the server because the default flight model for the Vigan is a little overpowered. Overlord, Stinky 11, Bogey Dope. I think they're on my tail. They're gonna be 080. Stinky 11, Overlord, Bra, 166, 11. 1,800, hot, Mirage F1. Wow, there's a lot of things after me in this area. And they might be on friendly players as well. They might not just be after me, but that, that MiG-21 was definitely looking at those smoke plumes trying to find me. 
after I struck those, uh, those, it looked like a cluster of, like, Shilkas and different AAA sites, things like that. So that's good to take that out, just in case our friendlies do have to fly over those mountains. But we should be entering friendly airspace here and have a little bit of a blanket of protection from all the F5s in the area. There's our airstrip. That's what's fun about the Vigan. It's just such a fast little plane. <laughs> we just totally outran those guys. Let me get a bra call on where they are. 136 for 24. Yeah, they didn't even chase us, man. This is definitely a um, well within regulation landing I'm doing here. Boop. But hey, it was a soft one. And I've got thrust reversers. So I can make it extra fun. I don't even have to click on the brakes because of this thrust reverser. It's awesome. It's so useful for landings like that where I'm landing very quickly. And I need to cut across the runway to get fully off, but I don't know if this guy behind me is taking off. So... There he is. <laughs> Good luck, F5, buddy. Yep, alright. We can get out of the runway here. As long as I just get off the active there, I should just be fine right here. Yeah, good parking spot. 62% of fuel left, and we were not being very fuel efficient. That AO was so close to us, we were just able to hit it super fast and boom out. That's what the Vigan is good at. Getting to the AO, killing something, flying back before the MiG-21 could even catch it. It's such a cool plane. Oh, I love it, dude. I think the SAM's activated. I think who got shot down was a, a bandit right there. That's scary. Bandits are definitely getting a little close for comfort. My air brake might still be out. And now it should be back in. Alright. Switch back to RV-75. I don't have a hotkey for the switching back to the RVs, but... I do have a hotkey for switching to sidewinders or guns, which is really nice. One one or one four four for fifteen. Okay, so that Mig is out there. That might be him. No, that's a parachute. I see something out there as well. I see a Vigan. And I see I think that's an that's a MiG twenty one. Uh, I don't want to get into that fight. I think I'm gonna just gonna keep going north. Try to hit that last target that I didn't hit before. Yeah, that is definitely a MiG twenty one. I think he's burning because he's not pouring out any black smoke right now. I'm just going to try to outrun that. I'm going to keep my speed up. Merge 085 at 2300 meters, frog foot. I'm going to get down low. What did I just see? Did I just see a shadow? Whoop, whoop, oh my gosh, hello. He's turning in. So, the delta wing on the Vigan makes it very good in the first turn of a fight, but I start to lose speed very fast. I don't really know how to fight something like this frog because I need to get behind him, but he's so slow. It's going to be hard to do that. Oh, <laughs> well, if he does that, then it's pretty easy. Box two. Oh, I went for the flares. Box two again. Come on. Oh, that one just totally ate it, too. Let me see if I can do something interesting here. Okay. Well, we're going to try to just... I don't know what to do now. I'm going to try to get some distance. We're going to make him think that we're just running away. But we've still got a weapon that's warming up that might be able to take him out. And a fish bed's coming as well. Overlord, stinky one one, bogey dope fish bed. Stinky one one, Overlord, bra, one six six, eight, three thousand five hundred, flank northeast, fast, 
fish man. Yeah, he's coming after me. Okay, well, our RB-75s are back up, but I need to find that frog foot again with the fish bed also coming over here. So I don't think that's going to happen. Man, if that Fox 2 had just hit there. Merge 153 fish bed. So he's coming over the mountain here. Whoa, those are trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting radar nails on my rear right. That's not good. Where am I? Not even in the enemy AO right now. 036, so he's north for 13. He's still going northeast. 036, okay. So he's back behind me. Overlord, stinky 1 1, bogey dope frog foot. Stinky 1 1. Overlord, nothing on scope. Okay, that frog pup must have died. Zero two seven for twenty one. Okay, that that fish bed left. Fish bed left, and the frog foot died. Whew, that was some intense fighting. <laughs> Yeah, so in the Cold War server, you've got lower-end missiles on mostly everything. Um, they're always rear aspect only, which means you can only shoot aircraft realistically from the rear. Um, the missiles are not very good at pulling tight turns. And so, even in a situation like that, where the frog foot is barely turning at all, we were too close for, I think, the missile to be able to G, pull enough Gs to accelerate itself upwards right then. So it was just a tough shot. Tough shot for such a uh, old style of Sidewinder. All right, but we've got four more missiles. I think I didn't kill everything in that little cluster up there, so I'm gonna look back at it, make sure there's nothing left. It should have cooled down by now, so anything that's still alive I can lock up pretty easily. I think it was on top of that mountain there. Yeah. Yeah, there's some things still there, I think. Though they might all be dead. I think they're all dead. One one two flank west mirage. Yeah, they look all dead. They just look totally inactive. We've still got some more targets down the hill. Yeah, they're just to our right on top of the hill right now. Oh, there's an F five following me. Hello. Oh, we're taking triple A as well. Something on that hill right there, I think. I'm going to keep changing direction because I don't know what it was. Definitely taking some big old cannon fire, though. The F5 was guiding us along there. Kind of neat. I got a little bit of a heart attack. Only a little. Yeah, so it should be the opposite hill. I'm just trying to get space here. This F5 is definitely following us, giving us a good old protection. Okay, let me turn in and look for bandits, or not bandits, bad guys here. Bad guys on the ground. Hmm. I think I might see them. I think that's it, right there. Yep. Gotta find a 
find them again. Oh, come on. No, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Ah, wrong thing. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to come back for another run. <laughs> These are tough to use, man. I'm still getting used to them. Oh, yep, AAA again. It doesn't look too accurate. It's probably just like a coax machine gun on one of the things. Whatever these things are. They're probably just trucks of hiking, you know, civilians and such. Gosh, that F5 is terrifying. It's on F5, that's a mirage. That is a mirage. Okay. I'm gonna lose him in the cloud. There's another one. Try to lose them in the cloud. Just gotta regain speed. Which I am regaining speed now. I just hope he didn't track me through that cloud. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yeah, the uh, the radio did not warn me of that. I gotta run now. Heckin' Mirage on my butt. I'm like, wait, that doesn't really look like the F5 that was following me. Boom, Mirage. <laughs> Missile incoming. Yep, he lost me in the cloud. Good, good, good. Okay, we're running. We're going low mode now. Woo! That was a little bit intense. Overlord, Stinky 1-1, one, one, bogey dope. Stinky 1-1, one, one, Overlord, Bra, 025, 17, 2200, good. drag northeast, Mirage F1. Woo! Okay. He gone. He definitely lost us. He's dragging northeast, which is not where I went. I went southwest. So, I don't know why he went northeast. He might have ran out of missiles. I, I really don't know the Mirage that well. But I'm pretty sure that uh, he's got more missiles, so I don't know why he ran northeast. Let's try to do a quick strike again. We'll try to roll back there, get back into the RB-75s, and... Uh, Get our tripwire set. Our, our SRS just keeps disconnecting for some reason. I don't know why. Overlord, stinky one one, set tripwire ten. Stinky one one, overlord, copy. Warning ten kilometers. Yeah, Mirage ran away. He must have gotten scared when I went in the clouds or something. Or maybe he was out of missiles and said, "Nope, I'm done." Okay, those smokes are going to make it really easy f to find the next two targets here. Uh, ba, 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 just got to bring it to the smoke. And then do some manual looky round. Something right there. Oh, whatever that is. I heard a beep beep. I'm scared. All right. I just um, rifled on both of those, I think the same thing, but I think the thing at the bottom of that image, whatever that object was, is already dead. That is a plane, that is a Vigan. Cool. He's inspecting my work. <laughs> How did I do, buddy? Shack one. And it should check the same thing again here in a second. I'm going to check the top of this. As well, because those are the things that I killed earlier. Oh, that tank is still up, whatever that is. It was just on the other side of the hill, but it is still alive. It looks like an, a tank or a BMP. Stinky 1-1, threat, bra, 113, 10, 2,500. you got a mega on tail, up the mountain. Fish bed. Fish bed, got it. Okay, we're running. Gonna run west now. Got nails on our left, which I don't know. I'm actually kind of lost. Wait, what am I looking at? Am I? 
Am, am I? Ghost Ferret, I'm on a six. I feel like I'm lost. Is my compass messed up? What happened? Is this southwest? I guess so. I guess I was just one more mountain range over than I thought I was. Okie dokie. Man, this thing is so much fun to fly when it's when you're all empty of weapons. It's just so fast, guys. It is so fast. Oh, it's, oh God, it just rolls. It's so lightweight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to climb. I'm scared. Okay, no, we're good. Just got to keep going west. Keep going west. Ask for a brawl call. Okay, 223 for 17. We're still good. That's actually where we're going. Yeah. That's where we're going. Stinky 11, threat, bra, 209, 10, 500, blank east, fast, uh -oh. fish man. That's not good. My sidewinder is not giving me any tones. Did I already shoot both of my sidewinders? I did at the frog foot. I forgot. This is the same sortie. Okay, well, we're just going to zoom past this MiG 21. Wherever he's at, I really don't care. We're flying low and fast past him. Just got to make sure we don't overspeed the aircraft here. Because they, this thing can get in trouble. It can go a little too fast for its own good. Sochi Adler's right there. It's still friendly, right? It's still a friendly area? Yeah, okay. I think we're going to lose Sochi soon, though, which is not good. Okay. We're safe. The fish bed is to our east now. It's, I guess, along the coast. You can see some plumes of smoke over there from the constant dogfighting that happens along the coast because there's airstrips that are just uh, kangaroos jump all the way down the coast there's airstrips so everybody fights in between the airstrips so the coast right now is one of the hottest places on the on the server but uh, this F5 also just rolled onto the runway so I'm just gonna take this little right strip here and then activate our reverse thruster once we touch down And full throttle in the reverse thruster. <laughs> As I increase my throttle, I heard a, a sports car outside rev up its engines. That was a weird sound, hearing a, uh, a V8 <laughs> right as I hit the throttle. I was like, wait, what the heck? This isn't Forza. Hold up. I'm going to fly along here. It's somewhere right here. Just can't spot it. We're really heavy with these four Mavericks on. Let's go, uh, let's just move around really quick and see if we can outmaneuver that Mirage that I think is coming this way. Overlord, Stinky 1 1, bogey dope. Stinky 1 1, Overlord, Bra, 258, 19. He went past us. Drag northwest. Mirage F1. Okay, yeah, he went past us. Cool. Looks like... Oh, okay, there's smokes on the north side of that mountain. Or the south side of it. So that's actually probably good. That might mean that someone else killed that... That last remaining... Like, artillery piece or whatever it was. I'm just gonna get another good look at this whole mountain range. Because we we got some space right now. So that was there. Interesting. Oh yeah, I see where that was. Okay. Yeah, it's on the set. That looks like it just got hit. Like I'm still seeing dust being picked up, so somebody else might be here striking it as well. Oh, the smoke just stopped. Okay, we should get a view here on whatever that is down there.
Okay, yeah, there's a few things there. That might be new. They might not be hit. I don't know. I'm going to burn away a little bit, and then I'm going to come back down onto him. We're really high up right now. We're at 5,000 meters. 262 for 33. Okay, that thing's still going west, which is good for us. So we can see what's up here. Nope, that was the same thing. Break lock. There we go. I think everything else there might be dead. I'm not sure. Oh, nope, taking triple A. Whoa, taking triple A. Yep. Woo. Okay, one thing there is still alive. Woo. -hoo. Yep, okay, I see it. It's on the right side, the north side of that formation. <laughs> oh, it's still shooting. Dang. He's got a targeting computer. Where is he, though? I can't see him. He's in that... Oh, he's in the middle of the smoke. The, the closest smoke to us. He's on the right side of it. Okay. Go back in for him now. Double check. We got no bandits close to us. We got a two-ship fish bed coming our way. Actually, they're going east. They're going back home. All right, Maverick, you ready to go, buddy? I got two more of you guys. Try to hit this thing. Oh, I'm getting compressor stalls. It's a high AOA on that turn. There he is. Rifle times one. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting again. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Yep. All right, that little cluster's all dead. I want to go look back at that one guy that we missed earlier. Yeah, I think that one's dead. Yeah, that's all dead there. Back at that one, like, artillery piece that I missed earlier. Yeah, I think I see him right now. I'm going to turn in for him. Let's see if we can get our last Maverick on him. And then RTB with a successful ground strike mission. We didn't get intercepted by anybody this time. Easy peasy. There he is. Woo! Magnum away. Not magnum away. Rifle away. Whee! And shack, whatever that thing was. Everything else up there is dead. Yep, cool. Dropping bag. Let's go home. Oh my gosh, yeah. Once this thing is... Once this thing loses all of its armament, once you need to run away from a bandit, this thing is just so much fun to fly. Yeah, we've got 11 kills now. In just three sorties, 11 kills, that is not bad for a Vigan. But this mountainous terrain, whoa, so much stuff just happened. Oh, hey, we took the objective. So this is actually a really cool example. Uh, we just took this hex because we killed everything in the hex before the tick, which ticks happen like once every 15 or 30 minutes or whatever. I don't know when they happen. Um, we killed more things in this objective and so our team, our AI ground forces, had more power than the ground forces on that hex that we've been working on. So this hexagon here used to be red, um, but now it's blue. And it looks like we have pretty good forces, so we might be able to push this hex into Gudada's hex. And uh, at that point, that's how the war rolls. Every single day, hexes are changing, territory is getting lost and taken. That's Enigma's Cold War. Uh, I couldn't sound more sponsored because I love this server and Enigma's done great work and his team have made a really cool server. Thanks for watching.